today's show, a recently filed patent shows how Rivian wants to extend the range of its R1T electric pickup even further than it can currently travel on a single charge, and there are no engines involved, Tesla gets ready to start leasing Model 3, and Audi pays homage to the original Audi Quattro and that now famous ski jump drive with an Audi e-tron. These stories and more coming next. This is Ecotricity's Ecotech Roundup show from New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. We are 100% Kiwi and 50% community owned. Switch today at ecotricity.co.nz. Welcome back to another lightning tour of everything that's been good in the world of clean energy and transportation this week. Today we've got everything from solar power to electro punk, so let's get going. Rivian's R1T electric pickup, while yet to enter production, has already caused quite a stir in the automotive world thanks to its high performance specs and massive battery pack choices. Not content with the 400 mile range of one of its 180 kilowatt hour battery pack variants, we learned this week that Rivian has filed a patent for a modular liquid cooled removable auxiliary battery that would fit in the R1T's pickup bed, much like some pickup truck toolboxes do. With the extra battery, who knows what the extra range will be? Unions have long worried that the switch from internal combustion engine vehicles to electric ones would have a major impact on the number of jobs in the automotive production world. With less complex cars to make, the argument has always been that there will be less skilled jobs needed. This week, BMW disproved that theory, announcing a massive hiring push at its Dinglefing factory, which will see up to 2,000 jobs created. These jobs, mostly in motor manufacturing, will help bring the iNext EV to market by 2021. Tesla has now produced more than 200,000 Model 3 electric cars. At least that's according to several sites, including Bloomberg, which have been tracking VIN numbers and deliveries since Model 3 began production a year and a half ago. Bloomberg notes that Tesla has registered nearly 300,000 VINs with NHTSA, but its own reader-submitted VIN number database shows Tesla is well into the 200,000th vehicle and is continuing to accelerate as more Model 3s are made. Volvo has officially begun pre-production deliveries of limited numbers of FL electric trucks. While series production isn't due to start on it and the Volvo FE electric until the second half of this year, these early models will be pressed into service in real-world applications at Renova, DB Schecker and TGM. For those who don't know, the FL trucks are Volvo's smallest trucks, but are found throughout the world in duties ranging from fire trucks and recycling vehicles through to medium duty haulage, tipper truck and city delivery duties. Tesla caused a little panic this week when it removed mention of the standard range Tesla Model 3 from its website. Now customers visiting Tesla.com only see the Model 3 mid-range, Model 3 dual motor and Model 3 dual motor performance listed. There are a whole host of reasons why this spec has been removed from the site, but without any firm word from Tesla, it's all just speculation. It's most likely that the Model 3 standard range will return at some point or be sold as a software limited variant of the mid-range model. BMW and Daimler have now officially combined their former rival mobility service companies, which both companies will now hold joint responsibility for. Five independent joint ventures have been founded with their own CEOs. ReachNow, ChargeNow, FreeNow, ParkNow and ShareNow. ReachNow focuses on offering multimodal transportation with smartphone paying. ChargeNow focuses on EV charging and ParkNow focuses on helping customers find a place to park. FreeNow helps consumers find rental vehicles and taxis, while ShareNow is an ad hoc car rental service. Volkswagen has launched a pilot project in southwest Germany to refine its electric car battery recycling strategy. 
Batteries will either be reused in Second Life projects or, if they are not suitable, ground down and dried into so-called black powder. An hydrometallurgical process will then be used to separate the various raw metals for reuse. The goal? To recycle 97% of all raw materials from batteries, up from an industry standard of 53% today and up from the pilot project's estimated start of 72%. If you've been waiting for a Tesla Model 3 because you've wanted to lease, not buy, this story is for you as Tesla appears to be readying itself to lease Model 3 to customers. The claim comes from inside sources at Tesla who shared an internal email announcing that employees will soon be able to lease a Model 3. Within two weeks, in fact. While Tesla has confirmed it is preparing a leasing program, it says the dates are not final nor has it confirmed when Model 3 leasing for customers will go live. To date, Tesla has refrained from leasing Model 3 because of the negative impact these leases will have on its financials. As it prepares to bring its first long-range electric car into production, Volkswagen has reached out to its suppliers and told them to cut their own carbon emissions or face losing its custom. It's all part of a massive roadmap at Volkswagen, which targets a completely zero carbon production process and, say insiders, has resulted in Volkswagen giving its suppliers an S score, S for sustainability. Companies who fail to green up their supply chain, says Volkswagen, will quickly find that they are no longer Volkswagen suppliers. As the price of solar panels and battery storage systems have dropped, more and more people are installing micro-generation systems at their home. And that's been upsetting some utilities, which have successfully lobbied in certain US states to penalize those who generate their own power, either through expensive fees or outright bans. This week, however, California became the latest state in the union to introduce what's being called the Solar Bill of Rights. Simply put, it lays out a series of measures to ensure that every person or business has the right to generate and store their own electricity without being subjected to discriminatory treatment from utilities or the government. Let's hope it passes. Electric vehicle battery recycling is becoming a major concern as more and more EVs start to age, and we're seeing plenty of interesting applications over the years giving new life to old batteries. Nissan's latest idea on the subject? To turn old Nissan Leaf battery packs into portable power packs that you can use to power off-grid adventures. It's a fantastic idea, but I think it would have been even better if the video showcasing it, the Nissan Energy Roam that is, used a Nissan Leaf rather than a Nissan X-Trail SUV. Back in the 1980s, Audi demonstrated how good its brand new Audi Quattro technology was by driving an Audi Quattro up a ski slope. And now it's done the same thing with an Audi e-tron. With safety measures in place, the e-tron, driven by world rallycross champion Matthias Ekstrom, blasted its way up the 85% grade of the Mausafala, or mouse trap, on the legendary Strife ski run in Austria. It's quite spectacular and shows how powerful electric motors are. Just don't try this at home, okay? <laughs> and finally, using an electric car battery pack as an emergency source of power when the electricity is off isn't exactly a new thing. I've done it before and in Japan, there are even regular drills in some prefectures to ensure power can be restored in an emergency to essential services. But use an EV to record an entire music video? That's something completely new. But it's just been accomplished by Volkswagen in Sweden with the help from electropunk artist Rain, covering the classic 1996 Eurodance hit Electric by Lelia K. Rain's music video production was completely powered by a Volkswagen E Golf from filming to editing. It's certainly very novel indeed. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can tell your friends about the show, as many as you want. And if you've got some feedback, well, you know where to send it. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. That will make sure that you don't miss out on a single episode. And while you're at it, why not take some time out to switch to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company? Go on, 100% clean and 50% community owned. Ditch your current provider and go zero emissions for 2019. 
Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time. Bye.